Isn't it amazing how people come across each other without knowing he or she is the one for you? My name is Avery, and this is my story. Hey, Avery! Did you hear the news? Hmm? What news? George and his girlfriend just broke up because of you. What? Where on earth did that come from? I know! That's why I'm giving you a heads up. You know what, Mitch? It's finals week, and we should think more of that instead. I don't want to ruin my mood because of that silly gossip. Hmm. You're right. Let's go to the library until the call starts. Sure. Hey, hey, dude. Avery is here. Hey, Avery. Uh, what do you want? Ooh, feisty. You know, that's what I like about you, Avery. <laughs> well, then guess what? I don't like you, George. Now, if you please excuse me, I gotta go. Not so fast, Avery. <laughs> George, what are you... Come on, Avery! I'm the hottest guy in school! Everyone wants to be with me except you, and I kind of like a challenge. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Go away! How dare you try to get close to me! You'll regret this, George! Mm. That little witch! next door? Oh yeah, I met him yesterday. He is really respectful and good looking, if I may add. I was planning to invite him over for dinner later. What? Are you serious? You know how much I hate meeting strangers. That's what neighbors do, sweetie. Come home early today, okay? <sighs> okay, fine. If you say so, I'll be heading out for school now, okay? Bye! Bye, take care. Hey girl, are you heading back home now? Yeah, why? I'm actually going to apply to the cafe. Would you like to come with me? I'll have you there as my support. Oh, yeah, sounds perfect. I actually wanted to apply for the cafe as well. Let's do this together. Yay! I'm so glad we're going to be working together. Hopefully, we'll get this opportunity. <laughs> Thanks for the dinner, Mrs. Bride. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. It's my pleasure. I'm so sorry Avery wasn't here to meet you. She's also your age, and I'm pretty sure you get along really well. Yeah, sure. But I'd love to invite you over next time at my place. That would be wonderful! Me and my daughter will surely come. Have a good night, Joseph. Bye. Thanks. Hey, Mom! I'm so sorry I got home late. Actually, Mitch and I went to the cafe to apply for a job. It's fine, sweetie. There's always a next time. Aw, you're the best mom ever! <laughs> I love you, mom. <laughs> I love you too, my love. Oh, God! 
gosh. I'm so excited today, Avery. <laughs> it's our first day at the cafe. I know, right? Let's give our best and make some money from vacation from here on out, Mitch. Motivation 101, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We can do this. Oh man, why do I have to be in the kitchen and you're assigned here? It's not fair. Come on, Mitch. We can talk to the supervisor again if you want. Nah, it's good. If they want Mitch in the kitchen, I'll be there. I'll do everything to save up for our vacay. Don't worry. Heck <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Okay, see you later, girl. See ya. Good morning, ma'am. Are you ready to or... Uh-huh. Esmeralda? Heh. <laughs> so you're the waitress here, huh? Well, guess what? It suits you. Um, are you ready to order? I'll just have water for now. I'm still waiting for my boyfriend to arrive. Okay, one bottle of water. Sure, I'll be back. Heh. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's cool, Avery. Just don't let her get you down. It's your job. Here you go, ma'am. Let me know if you need anything else. What is this? I didn't ask for a cold bottle of water. Replace that immediately. Um, sure. Please, excuse my mistake. Here you go. Is it cool enough? Take it away! I don't need it anymore! I'll take one iced latte instead. What are you waiting for? Bring me my order now! Oh, um, sorry about that. One iced latte and what else? I said one iced latte, didn't I? What kind of service is this? Ugh. So sorry, ma'am. I'll get you your order right away. What is it, Esmeralda? Why did you call me here? Actually, I, uh... Here you go, ma'am. One iced latte. Huh? Avery? Oh, great. He's here as well! Did this day get any worse? Yes, sir. What can I get you? You know pretty well that I just want to get you... It's your job. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, sir, but as you can see, I am not included in the menu. May I recommend some coffee instead? I'll take whatever you offer, Avery. Ugh, George! And you, pathetic rat! Stay away from my boyfriend! <laughs> Ow! Shoot! Esmeralda, you need to stop! You need to behave a little, miss. You can't be hurting someone in a public place. Avery, are you okay? Ah, shut it, both of you! You both are so lucky I am still on my shift! Ugh, we don't care if you work here! Oh, <laughs> you are going to get it when I am done with my work! Ladies, that's enough! Sorry to say this, but I think you should all leave. Just take your girlfriend out of here, man. Both of you should leave before I call the cops. This is a public place. Oh, whatever. I'll probably end her when she comes to the school. Let's go, babe. Oh, that little witch. Who does she think she is? And you, who do you think you are trying to... Uh, hey, wait a second. I know you. You're the mean guy I met the other day. <laughs> So you do remember. I just knew you looked familiar to me. 
I assume that's the poor guy who tried to touch you? I don't really get it. Why do you want to steal someone else's boyfriend? Uh, excuse me? I didn't steal anyone! He's the one who likes being a pervert around me, trying to impress me, and... And... Why do I need to explain myself to you? I don't know. You tell me. Ah! <sighs> Whatever. I'm out of here. What is he doing here? Doesn't he have anything better to do? Hey girl, you're finally here! Hey, did you see the memo? Is Mira and George are banned from the cafe? So, it means you don't have to be in the kitchen! I didn't know they valued their employees this much! We can work safely here and save for our vacay! Oh, well, that's some great news, Mitch! Please, remind me later to thank our boss for what he has done for the both of us. Sure. Anyways, I'll be back. I need to make sure everything is ready before we start the business. Okay. <sighs> Hello, sir. Welcome to the Brooks Cafe. Oh, God. You again? <laughs> is that how you greet your customers? <sighs> Whatever. <clears throat> what would you like to have today, sir? Hmm. You know, if I didn't know, I'd think you were a really nice person. Mm, why, thank you, sir. Now, do you want to order something, or are you just going to loiter here all night long? <laughs> this cafe is so lucky to have you. You really know how to keep the business going. Unfortunately, you're way too rude. You should try to be a little sweet and caring. <sighs> I treat my customers the way they deserve. Okay? If you're nice to me, I'll be nice to you, too. Okay, okay, miss. I'll be nicer. <laughs> Can I have one cappuccino and a slice of chocolate cake, please? Of course. I'll be back with your orders in a bit. Here you go, sir. Your drink and your cake. Is there anything else I can get for you? Nope, that's everything I want. Thanks. Alright, great. Call me when you need me. I can see that you know. Ugh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You may leave now. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Mom? Mmm, those pancakes smell delicious, Mom! I am starving! No, no, honey, don't touch that plate! Wait, what? This one is for our neighbor. I'm cooking some for both of us. Oh, come on, Mom, but I'm so hungry! It's okay, honey. Just give me two more minutes. Meanwhile, why don't you go next door and give him these pancakes? Sure, I guess. Anything for you, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, dear. <laughs> Who is it? Huh? You! What are you doing here? I knew it! You are really a stalker, aren't you? Hey, hey, hey! Take a chill pill. Just answer my question! Why are you here? Hmm. Well, the question reverses on you. What are you doing here at my house this early in the morning? <laughs> yeah, right! You live here, huh? <sighs> Wait, so that means you're really my neighbor? <sighs> what on earth? Oh god, what are you smiling at? So you brought breakfast for me, huh? 
You must be Mrs. Bride's daughter, right? Yeah, and what's it to you? Cool. Tell her thanks for the pancakes. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. Well, before I forget, my name's Joseph. Avery. Avery Braid. Um, I better get going now. Sure thing. See you later. Good morning! Ah! <sighs> morning! You startled me. Huh. Looks like someone got up from the wrong side of the bed, huh? Um, sorry about that. I'm not really used to being greeted by neighbors. It's fine. Anyways, do you have work today? Yeah, why? I'll be going to the cafe later in the day, so please don't be surprised when you see me there again. Uh, sure. No problem. <laughs> okay, so we still need some more money so we can go on that vacation. But with this low of a salary, how are we going to manage things like this? Hey, Avery. Hey, I didn't know you were here either. I actually got you some of your favorite drinks. Would you like it? Uh, sure. Thanks. It is really strange, isn't it? The one whom I used to hate? I started having feelings towards him. I found out that he wasn't really mean at all, but rather, he's such a sweetheart. He's kind, he's caring and sweet, so gentle with everyone. And I was in love with his gestures. But then, I realized that in my life, things are only meant to get worse. Avery, hey, can we please talk? Um... No way. Hey, I wasn't talking to you. Hey, Avery, I just want to talk to you for five minutes. Ignore him, Avery. Let's just go home. Mrs. Bride, is there any problem? Oh, no, no. Actually, Avery accidentally dropped her book on the way out. That's why I was calling for her. Oh, well, I'm also on my own. If you want, I can give it to her. Oh, wow, really? Sure. Thank you so much, Joseph. No problem, Mrs. Bride. Have a good day. Calm down, Avery. There you are. I've been waiting here for you for so long. Not now, George. I'm late for my class. George, stop it. Let me go. I'm already late. I have no time for this. No. You have to listen to me first. You have to let her go this instant, bud. Joseph? Oh, yeah? And who do you think you are? <sighs> so sorry I'm late, babe. Here's your book you accidentally dropped on your way out. Yeah, you heard it right, boy. You're hitting on my girlfriend, and I'm not happy with it. Sorry, I didn't know. You're welcome. Joseph, what are you doing here? I can handle myself, you know? Well, it didn't seem like it. Plus, I just came here to give you that book, so I offered to help your mom give you this book. 
Um, thanks. I'm grateful for this, Joseph, but stop jumping to conclusions, please. I better leave for my class now. It's getting late. Huh. Why do I feel so weird today now that Joseph isn't here to annoy me? <sighs> it's almost closing now, but he hasn't come yet. I guess I'll just leave now. And just like that day, he never showed up after that. It had almost been two weeks since I last saw him. Was everything okay with me? Hey, girl! Huh? Hey, why do you look so sad? Uh-huh. Oh, no, I'm not sad. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Anyways, how are you doing? And what are you here for? Shouldn't you be in the kitchen at the moment? Oh, I forgot. The manager said that the owner conducts random visits to the cafe, so we have to be ready at all times. Only the manager knows who he actually is, but the boss does not want us to see him. Huh, that's strange. Why is that? I think it's because he does not want to get special treatment just because he's the owner of this cafe. Oh, well, at least we know that the boss is a he. <laughs> yep, I'm sure he's super kind and gentle. Oh, 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 the manager wants me in the kitchen. We better start working now, Avery. See you later! Uh, bye! Joseph, where are you? What happened to you? Why are you not here yet? <sighs> where could he possibly be? Should I ask my mom about it? No, what if they're actually seeing each other or what if Joseph has found himself a girlfriend? No, 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 no. So how was work today, sweetie? Um, pretty average. What's wrong, Avery? Why do you look so upset? Is everything all right? Uh, it's nothing, Mom. Did you hear anything from our neighbors? Oh, you mean Joseph? Not really, dear. In fact, he drops by every day. <laughs> that must be him. Why don't you answer the door for me, sweetie? I gotta do the dishes. Sure thing, Mom. Joseph! Oh my god, where have you been and what are you- Oh, hey, Avery. Sorry for changing the topic, but is your mom asleep? What the heck? He's seen me after so long and all he cares about is my mom? How selfish! Oh, uh, actually she wasn't and asked me to get the door. You can come on in. Wait, Avery! Hey, Avery! Yes, ma'am, did you call for me? This is our boss and he wants to talk to you about something. Do you think I can give him some alone time? Wait, what? He's the b boss of this cafe? Oh no. Hey, Avery, finally you're here. I'll leave you two alone now. You can skip work if you want. Have a good day, sir. Thanks. So, you're the owner of this cafe? <laughs> Great. I should have known. I'm sorry, but I'm not working here anymore. I'll just find myself another job. Avery, where are you going? I'm going home? Duh! I thought I could skip work, right? Avery, this is not funny anymore. Not going anywhere. I know I've wronged you, but you know that I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, okay? Oh yeah, with that attitude? Who in the world asks for forgiveness with that rude tone of yours, huh? Hey, sorry I judged too quickly. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm such an idiot. But do you really like my mom? What the, your mom? What are you talking about? I didn't see you for two weeks straight while you were visiting my mom every day. I guess if you really love her, you should make her happy. This is unbelievable, Avery. I respect your mom dearly because she's really nice and very helpful, but... 
This does not mean I'm in love with her. But you could say I love her as my own mother. But she knows who I really love. That's why I went to ask her to get her permission for if she would... Allow me to... Uh... Go on a date with you. With me? Of course, Avery. I'm sorry you have been missing me for two weeks. It's just I had to be sure of my feelings before I tell you anything. I hope you feel the same for me, Avery. Uh-huh. Who said I missed you? Huh? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Come on.